Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft have finally started rolling out Edge version 104, which is their latest stable release for desktop. And uh, this uh, latest version started rolling out on the 5th of August, which was late yesterday in my region. I received my update today on the 6th. Now, there are two new features in version 104, and I would say that the key highlight is the new enhanced security mode which was previously called super duper secure mode, which I did post a couple of videos on previously. And the new enhanced security mode has also now received a new option. So to get to the feature, we head to the menu, head over to settings and then navigate to privacy search and services. And we just scroll to the bottom of the page where we get the new enhance your security on the web previously known as super duper secure mode which is toggled off by default. So if you want to enable the feature, we'll, you will just have to toggle on that um, switch. And previously, there were only two options available, balanced and strict, which I did cover in another video. And um, we have a new option now called basic. Now, um, it says here, if you want some more information, you can just click on the, uh, the toggle uh, for the info. And it says this runs your unfamiliar sites without the just-in-time JRT compilation to provide added protection. Running JRT less reduces attack surface, making it difficult for malicious sites to exploit. The additional protection includes Windows operating system mitigations such as hardware-enforced stack protection, arbitrary code guard, and control flow guard. So that's basically what the enhanced security mode is all about. And then as mentioned, we get a new option called basic, which is now the uh, recommended option. And to enable that, we just click on it and then you get basic uh, protection. And it says add security mitigations to the less visited sites. Sites work as expected, block security threats. And over and above that, just to do a quick recap, um, you can add sites as exceptions. So in on security mode can be turned off for different sites by adding a different site. And then it also has a toggle here, always use strict level of enhanced security when browsing in private. So um, if you toggle that on, it'll always use the strict um, mode. So if, if we just go back to balanced, just to, as an example, if you hit strict, it will always uh, toggle on a uh, use strict level for enhanced security mode when, bra when browsing in private. So um, that's just a quick recap. But basic now is that new option, which is now the recommended option for enhanced security mode. Now, the second new feature, just to make mention of that, according to Microsoft uh, in their um, release notes, they say now you can import uh, your Chrome data without Chrome during the first run experience. So basically, uh, this feature will let you um, uh, bring uh, your Chrome data uh, by into the Edge data, importing it by logging into your Google account during Microsoft Edge's first run experience. So that's a new feature where you can now import your Chrome data without using Chrome during the first run experience of Edge. And that's now in Edge version 104. And then over and above that, um, there are nine new policies that have been added to version 104. And Microsoft has, have also um, removed an a policy which has now become obsolete and um, if you'd like to uh, see if you have the latest uh, release as always we just head to the menu um, click on help and feedback about Microsoft Edge and if the browser hasn't updated automatically this will force the update and that latest version now is 104.0.1293.47 which is now the latest stable release for desktop now, just to mention those all important um, security updates that have rolled out in version 104. There are 20 uh, security um, vulnerabilities that have been addressed in this latest release. Um, four of those vulnerabilities are high risk vulnerabilities. Now, Google Chrome received uh, seven fixes for high risk vulnerabilities, but uh, Edge has only received um, fixes for four high risk vulnerabilities. And then also there are three edge specific um, security fixes that have rolled out, which are specific specific, uh, specific to the edge browser itself, where the other um, uh, fixes are regarding the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on. So even if you are not interested in uh, any new features, just make sure you double check 
uh, that your browser is up to date. Now, just on a side note, I have also noticed another little add-on to Edge version 104, which is not mentioned in the release notes, but has rolled out with this latest update. And if we head to Appearance, and we scroll down to where we get all our quick shortcut buttons, there is a new Microsoft Office button that's become available. And if we toggle that on, and we head back to the toolbar in the uh, top right here, you will see the Microsoft um, uh, quick launch shortcut button. And if we click on that, it opens up uh, Microsoft Office uh, in the side panel where you have access to your different online web apps. And then yeah, you have also um, your recent, so you have all, you have your recent uh, documents for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So that's a new um, toggle. Um, a, a button now where you can open Microsoft Office uh, now using that shortcut button and that will open up um, those shortcuts to the different uh, Microsoft Office apps uh, in the side panel. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.